We're going to be talking about what's new in SOLIDWORKS 2018. This video is going to focus on SOLIDWORKS Inspection Standalone product, and we're going to be talking about the ability to use 3D files inside of SOLIDWORKS Inspection. What we're going to notice is we now have the ability to utilize CATIA version 5 parts and assemblies, PTC Creo parts, and 3D XMLs also. Inside of the Inspection add-in, we will be able to use native SOLIDWORKS files. I have a separate video regarding that if you want to take a look, but we're going to be covering only the standalone portion in this video. So let's jump into the software and take a look at what's going on. I'm going to open a brand new project and choose my template. We'll see immediately that we can choose from our drop-down list 3D files. And I'm going to bring in this .prt file. Immediately we'll see that we are inside of a 3D environment. Now if there's PMI data that's already been added to this file type, we can utilize that data to help create our inspection documentation. Because we're supporting new and different file types, SOLIDWORKS Inspection is introducing a new function called Smart Extract. This is a very powerful tool that will allow you to automatically grab any dimensions or PMI data inside of your file type. You can click individually or we can box select to grab all of the items inside of our part file. Once we have these items balloons, our characteristics tab is going to automatically populate with all of this information. Now within 2018, we're going to notice that this method column is going to be automatically populated. This is something that you can add inside of your project settings and your project templates. This can now be automated based on the type of dimension that you've specified. Once we have all of our information ballooned, the million dollar question is what happens when I have a design change. Inside of Inspection 2018, we can use this import revision CAD file. I'm going to save my project real quick. And then I'm going to be automatically asked for which part file is my revision that I want to use. And I'm going to use my revision 2 part file. I'm immediately going to be prompted to make my revision changes. And I'm going to choose automated revision. What I'm going to see is some color coding inside of my characteristics tab. Any items that are going to show up red are items that have been deleted from the original file. The items that are in yellow or orange are items that have been modified from the original file. And we can take this even a step further. If we show the PMI information, we'll notice a green datum reference frame here. This is something that's new in our revised file. It was not in the original. Once I go through this information, I can choose to retire, reuse, update or not, but I'm going to choose OK to accept all of these changes. And in just one click, mere seconds, all of my information has been automatically updated to my new revised file. And at this point, I'm going to export all this information into Excel. Now in 2018, regarding the 3D file input, we now can choose snapshots. This is similar to a screenshot of just your graphics area. This can be included inside of your Excel spreadsheet. I'm going to export all this information to Excel and we'll see the final result. Now this is a screenshot. This is not a 3D environment, but it does give us a screenshot of the graphics area. And our Form 3, of course, is completely filled out, ready for us to go and send this into our inspection team. So we saw a lot of great enhancements so far with the SOLIDWORKS inspection product, including the ability to leverage PMI data from CATIA version 5 parts and assemblies, PTC Creo parts, and 3D XML files.